In this first lesson, we will do a recording. This is also known as tracking. Whatever we call it, what we are trying to do is get your voice into the computer, like what you see right here. Before we begin recording or tracking, we need to go through a few steps. Step one, select a microphone. Step two, select a track to record on. Step three, set the input levels. And then we can move to step four, the actual recording. Let's begin with step one, the microphone. Hindenburg will need to know what microphone or input you'll be using. Your computer can have multiple audio inputs, so this is a rather important step. To do this, we need to open the audio menu. The menu is located slightly differently on Mac and Windows, but the menu itself is the same. Once in the menu, we can ignore everything except where it says record. And this is where we choose what microphone we will be using. Depending on your computer, there could be many different inputs. In my situation, I'm recording using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, which is an audio interface. I have my microphone and headphones plugged into the audio interface, and that in turn is plugged into my computer. You might have a different microphone or audio interface, so you choose your microphone from the list. That was the first step. The second step is telling Hindenburg what track to record to. In this case, we would like to record to the first track. It even has the name track 1, but we can in fact give it any name we like. We could call it My Voice. But we have still not told Hindenburg that we intend to record on it. To do that, we need to arm the track. This little red button is the arm track button, and by pressing it we are making our intentions clear. We will be recording at some point, and when we do, it will be done to this track. So by pressing the arm track button, we have not actually started any recording yet. And now we move on to step 3, the input levels. As soon as we press the arm track button, we got an indication of the audio input, both on the little meter here on the track and on the main meter. The meter shows us how loud the incoming audio is. And it's just like with the three bears. We don't want it to be too cold or too hot. We want it just right. And that is around here. You can adjust your levels by using the input slider or, in my case, by using the gain controls on my audio device. Incidentally, if you are not able to adjust the volume levels here, then there's nothing wrong with Hindenburg or your audio device. It's just that your audio device is telling Hindenburg that it will handle your gain control. Thank you very much. And now we're ready for step four, the actual recording. In the transport bar, the recording button is blinking, indicating that it's ready to record. And when we press it, the recording begins. When you press stop, the recording ends. There is more to recording than this. For instance, how do you correct mistakes? But let's leave that for another lesson and wrap this lesson up. We have looked at the following four steps. Step one, select a microphone. Step two, select a track to record on. Step three, set the input levels. And step four, record. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.